Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a uniform plate of mass m is suspended in each of the ways shown so there are three ways uh, for each case determine immediately after the connection b has been released so this one is a this one is b a b a b so just after b is released we need to find out these two things angular acceleration of the plate uh, the acceleration of its mass center right. So, let us begin with the first one uh, as you can see that in the first one there is a pin that means the both the ends are hinged and just after releasing B the whole structure will try to rotate with respect to this axis passing through point A and perpendicular to the plane right. So, let us check. So, first let us find out the moment of inertia with respect to an axis passing through point A and perpendicular to the plane. So, this is a rectangular plate sorry it looks like a square, but it is rectangular ok c and c by 2 length. So, using parallel axis theorem we will just shift from this axis to this axis. So, for rectangular plate the formula was m by 12 times length square plus breadth square plus mass of the whole structure times this distance square. So, finally, we will get i a and it would look like this 5 by 12 m c square. Torque with respect to point A will only be created due to the gravitational force that is m g because hinge forces will not create any torque if you choose the axis at this point. So, torque due to m g is m g times the perpendicular distance that is c by 2. So, m g times c by 2 is the clockwise torque divided by moment of inertia you get 6 by 5 g by c clockwise as the angular acceleration with respect to this axis ok. Now, we need to find out the acceleration of the center of mass. Now, this angular acceleration alpha will create a tangential acceleration a which will be equal to r times alpha. So, r is this one right. So, we take the component of a that means, the tangential acceleration in the horizontal direction it would be towards left. So, a x would be a sin theta. So, a sin theta means alpha r sin theta and r sin theta is c by 4, r sin theta is this length that is c by 4. Finally, you get minus 0.3 g minus because the acceleration is towards left ok. Similarly, a y it would be a cos theta. So, r cos theta is c by 2. So, just put the value you will get minus 0.6 g. So, the acceleration in vector form for the center of mass is this one. So, for the first situation we got the answer. In the second case, second case will create a little bit of problem let us see. These are two wires, the whole structure was supported by two wires B is now released. Now, what happens? So, just after releasing point B, this point is only I mean this point has the freedom to move only in this direction just after the release because it cannot move downwards right. It cannot move downwards because it is connected by this wire. So, just after releasing B this point is constrained to move towards right ok. Now, this so the acceleration will be towards right only. Now, we do not know what is the value of tension and what will be the acceleration of this value uh, acceleration of this point. So, we need to choose the axis uh, very in a clever way. I have chosen the axis at point P ok instantaneous axis just after releasing B. So, with respect to point P the whole structure with move with an axle angular acceleration alpha P let us consider. So, with respect to point P the tension will not create any torque m g will create a torque that would be m g times c by 2 right moment of inertia of the whole plate with respect to an axis passing through point P perpendicular to the plane would be center of mass m by 12 c square plus c square by 4 plus the shift that is m c by 2 square times alpha P right. So, from there we will get the value of alpha P so or the angular acceleration of the structure just after releasing right answer would be 24 by 17 g by c in the clockwise direction. Now, we got the value of alpha. So, we can easily find out the acceleration of the center of mass 
it would be alpha times this length and the direction will be downward direction that means negative j. So, alpha times c by 2 this length is c by 2 we got what 12 by 17 g in the downward direction right. Okay. I mean just after releasing this structure would look something like this that is why I have drawn that acceleration of this point is a. Now, if you are thinking that what if we chose uh, the axis passing through point A, okay, uh, then that point A would be an accelerated point and there will be a pseudo force and you do not know what is the acceleration. So, you cannot find write down the pseudo force, but what happens if you consider this point its acceleration is also towards right does not matter if you write the pseudo force or not that pseudo force would not create any torque with respect to this axis right. So, this one is our safest choice ok fine next one and the last one it was supported by a spring the same plate was supported by a spring. So, both the springs will have some equal ex extension and both will put the equal amount of force mg by 2 mg by 2. Now, just after releasing the point B momentarily this spring will preserve its stretching okay, and it will apply the same amount of force mg by 2 and gravity will do its work by providing mg here. So, the acceleration of the center of mass would be net force in the downward direction by total mass right that is g by 2 downwards. Now, to find out the angular acceleration. So, here we can choose this axis also or this axis does not matter you will get the same answer. I have chosen this one because we already this one is the easiest one. So, with respect to this axis this person will will not create any torque only this force will create a torque of amount m g by 2 times this length c by 2 equals moment of inertia of the plate with respect to this axis that would be m by 12 c square plus c square by 4 okay, times alpha o. So, alpha o is this one. Okay. Now, we should not write alpha o, we should write only alpha same thing. Uh, does not matter if you even if you try to find out the angular acceleration with respect to point a you will get the same value. Of course, the value of i will change right. Okay fine this was a good question and it might come in your exam i mean j e people prefers this kind of questions right so i i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and thanks for 800 subscribers and you people are awesome and if you like the video give a thumbs up share it with maximum people and I will see you in the next one. Peace.